Joining us by phone now is one of the investigative reporters for BuzzFeed News who broke this story, Anthony Cormier. Anthony, thank you so much for being here. Your reporting has obviously captured much of the country. This morning, it's on every network. So can you tell us, Anthony, the evidence I know that in the, the report you say that you have spoken, you have two law enforcement sources who tell you that they have seen evidence, texts, emails, a cache of other documents, maybe transcripts with other witnesses in Trump organization that Donald Trump pressured Michael Cohen to lie. He suborned perjury. Have you seen any of that other corroborating evidence? No, I've not seen it personally, but the folks that we've talked to, the two officials that we've spoken to are... Uh, fully 100% read in uh, to that aspect of the special counsel's investigation. Can you explain in greater detail the types of evidence that they say they have? What led them to ask Michael Cohen about this? Sure. They, they have been working the sort of Trump Moscow Tower portion of this investigation. Uh, our sources have before Mueller. Uh, and so they, were, they had access to a number of different uh, documents, uh, FBI 302 reports, which are interview reports. And so that stuff was sort of compiled as they began to look at who the players were speaking with, how those negotiations went, who all from the Trump organization and outside the organization were involved in sort of getting that tower set up. Uh, and they com began to compile this evidence before Michael uh, Cohen uh, uh, decided to, to cooperate and, and to speak with the special counsel. And then I, it's our understanding that they presented this to him uh, or, or began asking questions based off of it. Then he acknowledged in his interview, yes, indeed, I was directed by the president. Uh, we, we don't know at this point, uh, and our sources haven't told us uh, what exactly he, how exactly that directive was handed down. Was it in person, on the telephone? We're, we're not clear. Um, but it is our understanding that this is uh, rock-solid uh, information developed uh, over the course of a long period of time. Uh, and then Michael was used to sort of, I guess, confirm it. Do your sources have any sense of why President Trump would want Michael Cohen to lie about this? No, it's a, good, it's a really good question. Uh, we've been trying to get uh, Mr. Cohen or his uh, spokesperson on the phone for the last 72 hours, uh, and they have declined to, to talk to us, uh, saying that they are, are, are not answering questions because they, they don't want to interfere with the special counsel's uh, inquiry. I don't want to speculate on, on any reasons why the president would tell him to sort of move that date or, or, or come up with a different date than, than, than was actually true. Has the White House or the president's private lawyers, have they responded or denied directly to the facts put out in this story? Not in the record, no, sir. We gave them every opportunity last night. Uh, I, shortly before I published, I, I, I was telling individuals, if you guys would like to deny it, we will give you ample space to do so. Uh, and they would not do that on the record. Anthony, obviously this is extremely serious. This is an impeachable offense. It's a federal crime. If what you say in your report really happened and Robert Mueller can prove it, I mean, we've heard from, you know, people on both sides of the aisle in Congress, this is an impeachable offense. It's one of, subordinate perjury is one of the articles of impeachment. And yet, we must ask you about your sources and methods because your co-writer, Jason Leopold, has a dubious past with this. He's gotten in trouble, as you well know, in 2002 and 2006. He was in trouble for perhaps uh, claiming to have sources that he didn't really have. His stories didn't wash. Executive directors and editors have had to apologize after some of his big blockbuster stories. So how can you be certain today? I am rock solid. My sourcing on this goes beyond the two that are on the record. This 100% happened. I am the individual who confirmed and verified that it happened. I am, I, I am telling you that our sourcing goes beyond the two that I was able to put on the record. We were able to gather information from individuals who know that this happened. This is a thing that um, it, it happened. And you have been on this Trump Tower Moscow story really longer than anyone else. You had a write-up months before Michael Cohen pleaded guilty to lying to Congress about it that basically laid out exactly what had happened. And in this story overnight, not only uh, do you report that the president instructed Michael Cohen to lie to Congress, you also have new details about all of these events that took place, including multiple discussions between the president and Michael Cohen 
about the Trump Tower Moscow deal and also the involvement of Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump Jr. Explain. Well, our sources uh, who have been fully read into this investigation tell us that there were at least 10 face-to-face -face meetings between uh, the president and his personal attorney for a sort of granular updates about the, the, the state of the project. Um, it's, it's our, our sources are telling us that uh, Mr. President not only knew that uh, Ms. Cohen was uh, attempting to set up a, a meeting overseas with um, the Russian president, but that he was actively encouraging it. Which is also tell us that um, both Ivanka Trump and Donald Trump Jr. were again read into um, uh, details of this project, and they were encouraging Ms. Cohen to, to to move it forward. I think it's instructive um, uh, to, to look at our our initial Trump Tower Moscow story, which I believe we broke in May. Uh, no one was able to match it, and it took about six months for the special counsel to affirm it. Um, so we. We're operating um, with a base of knowledge here that uh, is, is sound. Uh, and I can't say when the special counsel, will, whether Congress, whether other investigators will match. But this is this is the sourcing here is is rock solid, uh, and we've been able to verify this uh, in, in other ways. But in terms of Ivanka and Don Jr., it's not your. Is it your reporting that they did anything wrong beyond having? Nope. nope not not at all. Not in any way. We're not. Uh, we, all, we, all we reported yesterday was that dire sources are saying that uh, Donald Trump Jr.'s characterization uh, to Congress that he had only peripheral knowledge of this plan. They're, they're, they're saying that characterization is a little off. They are not accusing him of lying. They are not saying that these individuals had any contact with Russia. They are not alleging that this had anything to do with collusion. So they are just giving us a broader view of, of what happened during the campaign. So, Anthony... When Michael Cohen pleaded guilty to lying to Congress and we saw those legal documents for the first time, were there any clues there? As you read those documents now, knowing what you know, you're reporting that the president instructed Michael Cohen to lie, that the special counsel was indicating that they knew that or were pursuing that. Right, well, there's been a little bit of chatter that, um, the, that the story is suspect because the special counsel, because Michael Cohen didn't say this in his, in his sentencing memo, right? That's not true. Um, uh, we know well, it's our understanding that the special counsel asked Mike, uh, 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 didn't require Michael Cohen to lay out all of the relevant details that he told him. But there is a bit of a breadcrumb or several breadcrumbs in that memo. And, and one of which is Michael, one of the four or five points that Michael Cohen was credible and helpful, according to special counsel, was when he told them about the, uh, the drafting of this statement to Congress, in which he lied. That's a clue, right? That's, that suggests um, to us that there is a little bit of string there to pull that the special counsel perhaps has not revealed yet.